Hey folks, solo of you. So um, this is a very, I'm excited about this beer. So my buddy John and Larry um, have been talking about this beer for the last few weeks. And they're like, oh, I got the last can. And I was like, get me one. And then I wasn't sure if they actually got me one. But it, I have so much beer, so I didn't really care as much. But um, I actually didn't realize the brewery either. So I'm opening a beer mail. And every picture that they shared was always this. The back of the can. And I never looked at the bottom where it said the brewery name. I just always saw a shade of lies. And I was like, wow, I just, that beer sounds amazing. So this is from Incendiary Brewing. They are out of Winston, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I've actually been there. The last time I was in, in North Carolina, um, I went to the brewery. Um, and it was just, it's really this like really nice, big open space. They have a great outdoor area at the time. It was, I think it was a weekday, so it wasn't that crowded, but um, it's a really nice space. So if you're ever down there, definitely check these guys out. Um, so like I said, Shades of Shade of Lies. This has, has a double coconut stamp. I can't find the exact double coconut variant on, um, on, inter- on the internet, but just imagine what I'm saying is double coconut. Stout brew with maple coffee and toasted coconut grains, two row roasted barley, chocolate malt, crystal 80, black malt, flaked oats, and American house yeast. Bitterness has a level of two, and then it kind of goes there. Canned on 3-4-2020, 11.6% alcohol. Um, I am so happy. I just texted the guys, and I was like, it's better live up to expectations, people. Um, there's a giant about page on their website. Um, I'll link to it below. <clears throat> My voice sounds like it's hoarse. I don't know why. So we're going to get this into a glass and then I'm going to do a review of this and then I'm going to um, go uh, social distance myself, which I'm already doing. This is pitch black poured into my stemmed uh, snifter, my stem balloon glass, I guess. Night Shift Barrel Society 2015. Gorgeous, gorgeous glass. Um about a finger ahead, a little under my a finger. Um, pitch black, even in the lights, pitch, 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 pitch black. Let's get a nose. This is dumb. You get the maple, you get the coconut. Right up there is maple coffee, like maple coffee. So is this coffee beans rested in maple or maple beans in coffee? Um, I can't find. Um, oh my god, this smells freaking delicious! I can't even find the untapped page. I can find the uh, beer advocate page. I checked their 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 Instagram. Um, I can't find out if it's maple like aged on uh, coffee aged on maple, but whatever. Either way, it smells like maple and coffee. Lighter roast, but you get the coconut up there too. But it's really just a whole lot of maple. It smells outstanding. Um, I took this beer out. It's been sitting for the, out for the last 15, 20 minutes. So I think it's, um, I think it's time to dive in, people. It's still a little cold. So I may take a sip and see where I go. And then I may uh, cut out, come back. A little Greg's beer review and, uh, and see how it is as it warms. Let's, let, let's get initial taste. Holy shit. This is one of the best stouts I've had in, I don't know. This stout is amazing. Like usually when it comes to hype levels, I don't know what to say. This, this is just carbonation. Perfect. A little bit of prickliness, full mouthfeel, coat your mouth right up there. Maple and toasted coconut. Boom. You get a little bit of coffee. Maybe if I, maybe if you're not a big coffee person, you get a little bit more, but it's like perfectly, it's everything you want in a dessert boy stout. I I don't know how else to put it.
maple, toasted coconut, a little bit of hint of booze. And then it lingers off in like a, just this like very nice sugary sweetness. It is very sweet. Um, this is definitely going to be a sipper. Um, but If you guys can get this, I, I don't know if they, I, 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 they're distilling it. I know they're distilling it down in North Carolina, but I don't know how else to put this. Get this beer if you can. This beer is absolutely bonkers. Nothing is overpowering anything else. The maple, it's playing. What's what I'm looking for? Maple's very prominent, but it's not overpowering the coconut. It's not overpowering the coffee. The roasted malt's still there. You know you're drinking a stout, but it's a big stout. You know you're drinking an 11% stout. It's just perfectly melded, blended together to where it gives you this outstanding imperial stout and this is exactly exactly what i wanted going into it i i i read it and i was and given what what i was told by 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 john and larry i really wanted this to be great and this this is this is what i wanted tonight and sometimes when you get that st and it's, and it's, i'm gonna say i do this with 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 stouts a lot it, i do it with ips too but i do it with stouts a lot you read the adjuncts on on on, on a stout that you've never had before or a brew that you never heard of too and you're like that sounds right up my wheelhouse. That's what I want tonight. You open the can, you pour it in a glass, take a sniff. Oh, that smells great. Take a sip. The mouth feels too light. Or you're not getting enough of the adjunct you wanted. This is absolutely pitch perfect what I wanted tonight for a stout. Everything blends perfectly together. The coconut, the double coconut. Given the double coconut, I don't know if I'm getting double coconut. But maybe the original coconut wasn't as forward, but it just the, the maple and the coconut kind of give this amazing they, they just play off each other I, i'm obviously clearly mind blown at this point um get this stout shade of lies by incendiary brewing down in winston-salem north carolina um i can't recommend this enough let me know in the comments please let me know in the comments if you've had this beer it is outstanding i don't think i've explained it enough other than this beer is just blowing my mind i'm already at seven minutes i think i said blow my mind and the same stuff over and over again i'm rambling understand.net instagram facebook twitter those are your things hit the, the two notification bell so you get notified whenever i post other videos um and uh i'm sean this is Nancy. cheers